Hey, you ever look at something and know that you can use that in your system as far as helping you do things that you do on a daily basis? Well, in this, this episode, we're going to explore some of the things that I've used to kind of hack my system and help me do things around it. So as I said in the opening, this episode's all about some hacks that I did, um, maybe not even call them hacks, just some items around the house that I've used to help me do things on a daily basis, whether it be what I use to collect my skin mate with, what I use to store my tools, or what I use to hang my towels. Uh, that's all covered in this episode uh, with some other things thrown in there as well. I'm also going to give you a tour of basically the closet I've taken over in, in my house uh, that I use to store all my, you know, fish stuff. Everybody's got one and this is mine. It helps me organize things a little bit better and so my wife doesn't really get upset with my hobby. So uh, with that being said, let's get to the video and I hope you like it. So the first one I have for you is what I use to clean my glass. Now, basically what I do is I take a old pump bottle and this was actually some Mirage from ATM and that was their glass cleaner. But once the bottle is empty, I take uh, some distilled uh, white vinegar and RO water and I'll mix that in this bottle and use that to spray and clean my glass. It does a really great job of breaking up those tough smudges from salt uh, that get on the glass and you can never seem to get them off. Next is this little tube. When I got the first 90 gallon tank, this was in it. I don't really know what this is. So what I did is I just stood it up and inside it, I have all my turkey basters, Julian's thing and a scraper in case I need it, and that sits underneath my tank stand next to my sump. The next one is very easy. This is a wine bottle, bottle, and no, I do not drink all this wine. I use it to cook with, but it also, once it's cleaned out, makes a really, really good skim mate holder. And I just unscrew the cap, put the hose in, and drain my skim cup. Over here, probably everybody knows about this one. This is basically a five drawer Tupperware and I took the wheels off and that houses all my test kits and whatever I need, towels, frag plugs, glue, you name it. If it's small enough, it's in there. It also makes a great spot to put my magazine and also some, uh, I won this at the Coral Us Barbecue uh, with the reactor that you'll see in a minute and this is some carbon and GFO. I don't really use GFO right now, but just in case I need it in an emergency, they're both there. Next, this is my fish closet. Uh, basically, everyone has one of these closets. There's the reactor I won from the Coralus Barbecue. And this is basically my closet. It houses all the extra stuff that I've gathered through the years of being in the hobby, but it also houses, you know, this is where my dipping station goes, uh, some filter floss, iodine, and the like. It's a bit messy right now. Um, that's an extra refractometer, but um, this is where all my, you know, basically the overflow goes, and I can keep it neat out of the way, and my wife likes it that way. Also, this is where the buckets, my salt, my styrofoam cooler, and from using uh, Red Sea Coral Pro, you always have enough buckets to store stuff. And right there is some RPM, that's Fritz salt, and that'll get a future episode down the line. All my hoses are here. So everything I need is basically in the closet. I have levels for the tank and also my wrench for my RODI and miscellaneous cups, drill bits, and the different 
you know, lanyards that I've got from frag swaps and the like. Now over here what I've done is this was an old basket my wife had and I hung it on the wall and that will get, that gets my acro power and also there's the calibration from Julian Sprung, calibration uh, fluid and anything else as far as like garlic. I haven't used that in a long, long time. Uh, this is what my food, my food goes here and then going across to the other side this is a quick shelf just to add a little decoration whatever flashlights I need and also my towels go here as well as a net if I ever need one and then as you know my calc buckets are here as well and my grabbers that's a general tour of the hacks that I that I have so if you have any questions about any one of them leave it in the comment below and uh, I'll be sure to get, you know, answer your question uh, pretty much right away. So, until next time, this is Scott, and I will see you soon around the reef tank. Thank you for watching this episode of Roscoe's Reef with Scott. As always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.